Hi everyone. So there's this beautiful lady who bakes as beautiful as she looks. She is a beauty expert, but professionally, she has taken up baking so seriously that she has trained more than 2,000 army wives. Out of which, not I would not say couple, but many of them have become professional bakers themselves. I've heard so much about her. I've had the opportunity to meet her today. I will tell you who she is. Hi, I'm Aarti Karthik. Welcome to today's episode of How's the Jewish. I have with me Enid John. Hi Enid. Hi, Thank you so Aarti. much for taking our time. Thank you for coming. Absolutely my pleasure. I've heard so much about you that you can't even imagine. <laughs> so people rave about you, about your creations. Well, that's nice. <laughs> so um, what was the inspiration when you began? Well, uh, baking was always in me, in my blood. Uh, I grew up in a family uh, where Christmas time was all about baking and cooking and and it kind of uh, grew into me and it was a part of me. Well, I would take you back in 2009, mm -hmm. if I must say, uh, where I realized that this is what I had to do. This is your calling. Basically. This was my calling. So in 2009, when I started baking, uh, just for friends and uh, one fine day, I got a call from an MLA. Uh -huh. in Mathura while we were posted there okay and uh, he said he needed a four kilo cake for his son and I didn't know what to do because I had not baked that much as yet but uh, once I did that and I realized okay I can do it and uh, there was no looking back after that you realize you have what it takes and yes, then you can go yes, forward in this yes. line so um, I'm sure that you bake kids you know uh, birth you know birthday cakes for your kids and they must be every year when they were kids especially now they've grown up so they would tell you that uh, mama on this particular on this birthday of mine you have to bake this cake so more than uh, have you spoiled I, your kids oh i've spoiled them rotten and <laughs> more than them telling me it's me uh, thinking what could i do more mm -hmm. uh, for uh, this birthday and how uh, the main target was the cake uh -huh. <laughs> rather than the whole of you know the whole party but uh, yes, um, uh, I have created uh, miniature versions of uh, uh, even ships and submarines and tanks wow. and uh, uh, you know, uh, ranging from uh, five feet tall to uh, uh, two or three feet long as well. My God. Yes. So you are the uh, only person who works on your creations or you have a team? No. Uh, yes. the. Uh, the idea comes basically from me but uh, I'm the creator of Whisk of the Forces. Mm -hmm. uh, well Whisk of the Forces I would like to say something about that where I have so many uh, students under me and few of them have got so good that um, they could be instructors as well. Okay. So what I did was uh, with Whisk of the Forces we started having uh, small shows online okay. and these students of mine so it's an FB page? Yeah, it's an FB page okay. and of course now on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. So you could follow us uh, there. And uh, these students of mine are instructors, a few of them for mm -hmm. particular shows. And they are these upcoming uh, bakers mm. and uh, and they, you know, kind of uh, gather uh, fame as well, you know, yeah. once they're on our show. They're able to reach out to yes, people and they're known then. And most of them, I think all of them, in fact, are army wives, air force, navy, uh -huh. uh, different of them. Yeah. So, and as a professional, as a teacher, when you have such amazing students and when they show their creativity at such high levels, how does it make you feel? Oh, it uh, gives me immense uh, happiness and I'm really proud of them. Uh, at the same time, when I see them and uh, that they could create somewhere where I am, I think we need to give them an opportunity to teach others as well. So that's what I do on the show and it gives me immense uh, happiness. And at the end of the day, uh, when I close my eyes at night, uh, I think I've done what I had to do. As a teacher, as you are a, giving yeah. platform as well to yes. your students Absolutely. in terms of reaching out yes. to more number of people. And uh, you know, uh, them going ahead and creating a legacy of their own uh, is I think both of us are happy, them as well as me. Yeah. So talking about legacy just brings me to uh, this particular uh, question that uh, you are also 
not just into baking you are also into cooking in terms of recipes and now you're going to come out with a book very soon yes so um was it in uh, offing for a long time or uh, uh, it was just an impromptu moment that you thought that uh, i have done enough and now people should know and people should learn uh, how did the idea come about yes so if i would say that it was definitely uh, at the back of my mind but i think everything has a time and a place for it to happen so i think um, the book i think it's time for it to come out <laughs> and it is going to come out soon well uh, i don't only teach baking i teach cooking as well and uh, most of my students who ever know uh, me and have learned under me uh, definitely know that i concentrate on simplified systematic baking okay. and cooking as well uh, where every step is taught and every step has a time and you know the uh, technique and a method of doing it and the method is absolutely simplified that's what i concentrate on and uh, that's what the book is going to be about okay it does it uh, do you want to reach a niche audience with this yes. book of yours this book my first book is definitely going out to the newlyweds of the forces where okay. we have to have a nice laid out dinner and you know everybody finds it very difficult to come up to the expectations of what mm. uh, is uh, you know needed out of them so i think this is definitely going to be a, a need to have book you know uh, for the newlyweds so have you thought of uh, the title yet yes it's definitely going to start with eden's magic of course uh -huh. um simplified uh, it should be systematic. eden's simplified magic yes <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah systematic as well because i always uh, stress on the fact that uh, you know you're doing so much hmm. uh, and cooking is not something that you know it could be done easily hmm. but if if it is time managed and it is uh, simplified and it is uh, systematic mm. of course everything is easy so this is what my book is going to definitely concentrate on making okay. it definitely easier for somebody who doesn't know how to cook somebody who doesn't like to cook mm. or you know uh, but want to do it mm. uh, so definitely it is yeah that's okay it. and now your daughter as well has entered into the profession that you are in i think this so. is that this is my proudest moment that my daughter has taken on to the same lines not in the pastry side uh, not in the baking as said but definitely uh, the cooking i think uh, if we both have a cook off i think um, she would definitely in her flavors beat me <laughs> you should start a show with her yes uh, that's what she says too and uh, i think 5 years down the line i think we are looking at that so in it talking about creativity yes. you think that creativity is intrinsic or it can be taught well uh, with me i think yes of course for a little extent it could be taught but i think it should be in you hm i think i've got this for my grandmothers both acha yeah both my grandmothers their hands were very creative hmm. you know and i've got it from my nani and my dadi both uh, their side and they were excellent cooks and they were excellent creators mm -hmm. you know and um, i think that has come in abundance to me to, to and you. i think i make them both proud when they are looking down on me and i think that blessing i have uh, you know but yes uh, it could definitely be taught if somebody wants to do it and willing to do it hmm. and uh, still don't the passion has to be there yeah, the that's passion the first has thing to be there. then definitely we could teach them hmm. <laughs> but uh, i'm a very strict teacher uh -huh. you know when i go to i mean i need perfection okay. you know so and i drive it uh, uh -huh. that way uh -huh. so yeah <laughs> so have you has it ever come to your mind that uh, since both your grandmothers were such amazing cooks you know um do you want to share their recipes did i'm sure them they must be having such amazing and secret recipes which people do not know of have you ever thought of coming up with a, a book of that as well to tell you the truth uh, arthi uh, i teach all kinds of baking i teach uh, the modern baking as well as the uh, rustic baking and everything but when it comes to orders it is only my grandmother's recipes oh wow yes. okay <laughs> so that's okay. my secret uh, it's not that i don't want to give it out or anything but that's, that's my something very that's close something to you very and close. that's yes people wonder i mean like why do i need to order from enid's magic uh, batter mm -hmm. and that's where my that's the secret that's, ingredient that's the secret your, in your grandmother's i mean uh, they can come and say make a pineapple cake and make an upside down mm. or something something rustic or whatever mm. but when i have to make my own and i said okay leave it up to me mm. it is my grandmother's recipes and that's okay. what uh, makes my cake stand out so uh 
what is your uh, fb page specifically of your own yeah so that's in its magic better okay Enid's and that also batter. has the uh, a story behind my name uh -huh. which is of course magic created by Enid. when the batter is what uh, is taught to me by my family mm, okay uh, and that's why uh, i've named it okay Enid's magic and you're on insta on the, with the same name yes on insta on the same okay name. yeah so uh tell me you won the silver spoon award yes 21 and 22 21 uh, consecutive years yes so um, please as a layman if you could tell me what what is it yeah so these awards to. are uh, headed by basic bake it basic and uh, of course we have to uh, you know there are there are different rounds that we have we have to bake it and show it to them and so that's what we did and uh, i won the silver spoon 2021 and shining silver spoon of 2022 yeah okay so basically it's for the baking industry yeah, it's for, for the professional bakings. bakers yes it's for professional bakers oh wow and uh, where where is it held of course these are uh, in the covid times of course it was held online okay. but otherwise yes in mumbai it's in mumbai okay and what is the number of people who participate uh, in it uh it's um, i'm more in hundreds okay yeah, in hundreds yes wow <laughs> and uh, two consecutive years you've yes. been the one winning awards <laughs> yes absolutely. my god <laughs> that, that's so amazing many many more to you Enid. thank you thank you so much Aarti. and uh, is there something else like uh, how did you get into uh, beauty yeah so beauty uh, there came a time when uh, both my kids were born and uh, my younger one was around two years and my husband left to Israel for uh, a field posting and so I was all alone with them and I said no okay now it's some I need to do something and beauty was always something I really wanted to do mm -hmm. so I got into it and uh, got into it seriously anytime I you know it's always nice to get into anything that you're doing seriously mm. so I liked it and uh, even though I don't continue it anymore I think it uh, helps yeah, me throughout day to day in day to day life yes absolutely <laughs> and having two girls it has helped me throughout yeah yeah so true yeah. so true uh, what is your other passion apart from uh, you know beauty and uh, your baking uh, well uh, I exercise I, uh, I have recently started exercising very seriously uh, so I like to keep myself fit uh, apart from that I also make sugar flowers and most of it is all creative as well so I make sugar flowers and I make uh, flowers out of wafer paper that's rice paper okay. and they look realistic they okay. look you i mean so it's basically for uh, the cake that you're creating yes, to, to put uh, yeah. put on top of it yes so okay. instead of using fresh flowers we uh, create uh, these flowers and to put over the cakes and mm -hmm. yeah so those and of course i have a lot of pets at home and i like to, uh, spending time with them and uh, just yeah, listen I to don't nice think you music. left with any more time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You realize, no, no, no. After this, I don't <laughs> have any more time. <laughs> and of course, I just like my me time, uh, which I uh, usually spend at night, uh, which is you know when everybody is sleeping. I just like to you know sit and do my editing and everything. Yeah. When you have to bake a cake as big as a, a five feet cake, so how much time does it take? Yeah. So it is a process. It mm -hmm. is a process. It's not that. Okay, I start in the morning and oh, it, it has to be done at, uh, by night. No, it's not like that. Uh, first, there has to be a designing which is involved. There has to be an interaction with the client, whether the client wants that kind of a cake, the color, this, that, whatever. So if there are some uh, toppers or certain things that have to be ordered. So if I have to take a wedding cake or a cake as big as this, there has to be at least, I would say at least uh, 14 to 15 days prior notice of this okay. is what I'm going to be doing because there have to be uh, certain things that have to be got for it mm. well that left that aside uh, if it is on a short notice and you're saying how long does it take it takes around three to four days to okay. construct this cake okay first the baking happens. so you must have that bigger fridge as well isn't yes it? of course I have three fish fridges at my place. <laughs> <laughs> yes and how does it work for you um, you know in it like uh, you've always been with your husband uh, when you do not get a certain kind of ingredients which you feel are basic components of something which the client wants mm -hmm. uh, how do you work around that well that I'm very well stocked I okay would say. yeah you need to be very well stocked if you are in my place uh -huh. otherwise if you're in a metropolitan city you can just hop skip jump and yeah, go exactly. and get that, it that's my question yes yeah. so I have to be very well stocked I have uh -huh. to be in well uh, knowledge of what's trending mm. as well as well stocked mm -hmm. um, i have wonderful uh, 
uh, you know suppliers hmm. who know that your vendors now my are, vendors, must be permanent yeah my vendors are permanent as well as they know okay when it comes in it john abhi they keep asking me now which part of the country are you uh-huh, in exactly ha <laughs> uh-huh. so it does take like if i have to order why when i say 15 days at least because if i have to order something hmm. it does take me around uh, a week or more to reach okay it's not just like okay you think it's possible now like i heard uh, from somewhere you know some uh, uh, baking group where they said that you know we would also courier the cakes across and you know yes. things like that so yes. uh, you think it actually is possible in your okay. line uh it depends on where i am posted of course if we are going to be posted in a metropolitan city of course that could happen hmm. but yes if you are posted in a god for second place hmm. then it's a little difficult yes yeah but from pune to ahmednagar of course of you course, can of course yes yes so and small you, distances still can be covered small distances you, yes you can uh, and and it is possible okay. people have taken uh, five tie cakes and there is a process like hmm. you know you need to carry it well you need to have those particular equipments to carry hmm. your cakes hmm. and also that hmm. people have taken cakes on flights as well wow yeah, okay so that it's it, it everything is possible so how do you keep yourself updated specifically when it comes to uh, baking yeah so we have different groups uh, i mean i am involved in so many groups on facebook and on this. so we keep ourselves updated on uh, on social media of course mm-hmm. that is the only way okay. uh, to be updated yes but uh, are there uh, constant courses going on um, at different places like in different metros for professionals like you yes there are different uh, schools that are there uh, in fact uh, uh, many have come up with studios now they are called as studios finishing schools finishing, is also yeah, there. studios okay. where uh, you go and you know you learn these kind of cakes and now realistic cakes are totally in okay realistic cakes you know okay. i mean like if you whatever you want it's made you know uh-huh. you can just name it and it is made there nothing is impossible in the line of okay. uh, creativity especially with a cake artist uh-huh what has been your most uh, enduring one that you've enjoyed thoroughly making and you know oh the ines vikramaditya uh-huh the ines vikramaditya was uh, i think an honor uh-huh. as well as uh, a delight to make it because i literally got the blueprint of the fi- uh, ship Uh-huh. you know because every detail i had to create so and i would ask uh, you know a concerned officer ki how is this and why is it used then he would uh-huh. say no these are for the nets and these are you know for so it was really a you try to understand the different the elements the elements it. because it had to look real hmm hmm and when um, i'm not boasting about it but honestly uh, this was what uh, reaction i got when the cake was kept along with the ship models they couldn't differentiate Which that was the shape? Cake concept. Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> so that How was wonderful. A, I think that's the best compliment for yeah, a baker, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely. Absolutely. For a creator, yeah, there can't yeah. be more happiness yeah. than that. There, there is no. I mean, I, I have uh, the peak of happiness is that when I say, when people tell me, oh, I can't differentiate this from hmm. real to uh, sugar or you know whatever sugar crafting. Yeah. So Enid, uh, one thing that always you know comes to my mind. Uh, people ask me that you know uh, you were with radio you can always go back to radio you know go to a metro they will give you a job settle yourself plonk yourself there because you will have some kind of a certainty mm-hmm. you know in terms of career yeah. but i always choose otherwise yeah what's with you i mean you can just go to bombay delhi and uh, you would become a a, a celebrity baker in I just think. a couple of months and what stops you from that Well you're not the only one who has asked me this many have asked me and uh, wonder why you know with the talent that I have got and uh, why shouldn't I move and make my own identity and start something where I can of course monetarily and oh, you have uh, already created your yeah, identity course, you, ha- you have yeah. niche followers yes, yes. you know people <laughs> rave about you but early uh, of course could be much better hmm. so I think it's priorities you know for an army wife I think staying with her husband and understanding the worth of that is uh, beyond like everything beyond everything and I think I their priorities and I think this is my priority is to stay with the family and uh, give my children their you know a proper nuclear family that they could have always hmm. yeah to ye jo uh birds out of nest wala hota hai that's <laughs> right now in your life yes, right yes i think so how yeah. did you deal with that Oh it was the toughest thing I think in my entire life if I have to say 
अप्स एंड डाउन्स होते रहते हैं सबके लाइफ में बट आई वुंट कॉल दिस अ डाउन बट बिकॉज वंस द गर्ल्स फ्लाई आउट और द चिल्ड्रन फ्लाई आई थिंक वी आर द प्राउडेस्ट बट येस आई थिंक एवरी मदर एंड पेरेंट्स टुगेदर feel that emptiness a little bit mm. and i felt it a little too much because i'm very connected with my girls both mm. my daughters mm. and uh, at the same time i knew that i was so happy when they flew and um, you know they're doing so well and all that but it did affect me but i think i'm over that phase now and i think i'm going to now it's time for me to venture yeah, out and do, exactly yeah. and do so much more because now so i think more. that preoccupation yes has gone out of your life yeah and uh, that so much more of thought yes. you can give to your uh, business totally yeah? totally and i agree with you and i think uh, it's high time i do it <laughs> yeah. and i'm i'm sure i'm sure yeah. that you know the, the world is waiting yeah. for you out there <laughs> especially if you start with your uh, you know uh, workshops yeah. uh, what is that particular term that bakers use for that it's a studio okay. i mean yeah we have studios all around uh the country mm-hmm. and uh, they are owned by different kinds of bakers as well or okay. just people who just have the studios mm-hmm. for us to come and conduct uh, there there are many people mm-hmm. many across kolkata we have we have it in delhi we have it in chandigarh uh, so we have it all over in fact in goa we have one right now so it's nice so you should start doing that yes <laughs> yeah it would be so lovely yes. i think you get to travel as well yeah. meet people and do something that you're so yes. passionate yes. about so talking about passion i'm sure that your husband's uh, support was integral absolutely yeah so absolutely. i want you to give a message through my show to him okay so um well he has always had uh, has been my biggest critic uh and continue to be so because uh, and every time i bake a cake uh, he's the first one to taste it and tell me how it is so i think uh, thank you for that and thank you for making me uh you know just fly as high as i want to thank you <laughs> and uh, in it what about uh, budding entrepreneurs what about uh, small time bakers what advice would you want to give them to make it big <clears throat> i think uh, uh, everybody should know what their strength is mm-hmm. not just try anything and everything that comes under the sun under baking because baking itself is a encyclopedia where they have different things under them so you need to understand what is your strength like mm. i understood creating and decorating and uh, being a cake artist was my strength mm. uh, leave aside you're good in everything else as well but you need to know your strength and uh, understand the social media because mm. that's so important in mm. today's life mm. if you understand social media and you know exactly where to uh, venture and where to uh, you know grow your name mm. so i think that's very important Hmm. Okay. I just hope that uh, you know we get to see more of you yeah. on social platforms and across yeah. and uh, you start many more shows live shows of yours. Thank you. And Aarti. we get to see so much more of you and your creations in it. Thank you. It was wonderful Aarti talking to you and being on your show. Thank you so much Enid. My my privilege to have you. So that was the beautiful Enid's journey. I just wish that she is inspired the baker in you and when her book releases we all buy it though it is aimed at newly wedded i am sure matlab main to shayad kharidungi kyunki shaadi ke 18 saal baad bhi mujhe lagta hai ki there are so many things which i still feel that i do not know on that note thank you so much for being a part of my show today in uh, the next episode we will have another forgy wife with her beautiful journey this me artik artik saying thank you so much for your time do subscribe comment and like my channel thank you